But no, I, th- I think he's been really impressive in the way he's, he's carried himself since he's uh, had his first cap in the autumn. And Wales were quite reluctant to throw him in in the autumn. And even though he's been, been performing for Gloucester for the last season or two now and scoring fantastic tries and winning player of the month, they've sort of held him back a little bit. But I, I don't think you can hold him back now. He, he's showing what he can do. And when you've got a player like that, and let's be fair, rugby hasn't been the most entertaining over the last six to eight months. So when you see players who can do things like that, you just want them on the field. So... I, yeah, I, I see a long sort of future for him. Obviously, hopefully he'll stay injury free. And the frightening thing is, he said the other day that he's he's going to get quicker. He feels he's not as quick as he can be at the moment. So yeah. that is a scary thought. And what what do you think just with with that sending off when they made the decision to keep eight in the pack and drop one of the backs um, to go fourteen? Have you ever been in a situation where that's happened and you've made that call and you think it was the right one? I, I think it was, yeah, because Scotland and Wales actually they, they're attacking driving more was was very strong and. Uh, I think we needed something to sort of uh, stop Scotland's driving ball. So, yeah, I, th- I think that was the right call, to be fair. Uh, just a final point with uh, with, with Rhys I mean, obviously a very prodigious talent. Um, as with Sam Warburton over, over the weekend, and he was saying that people have been asking him, you know, is Louis married? Can I can can you introduce me to him? And stuff like this. And, and he said he's, he's gone completely crazy. And you know how... Uh, febrile the atmosphere is in that triangle in where Welsh rugby is at the heart of everything I just wonder it's good it's good in being out of that in in, in an everyday basis in Gloucester um I just hope for him that someone takes him to one side in, in the right way and says look everything's going right now but just be careful just be careful what you say what you do there'll be enough brickbats coming your way from from you know, just just as it happens, don't don't give everyone any ammunition. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's the the danger sometimes. I think Shane Williams came out uh, yesterday and said, you know, let's let's not put too much pressure on him. And but I think when he when he scores tries like that, it's that's what sports all about. You know, I remember Wayne Rooney coming on and scoring wonder goals at sixteen. You you can't help but stand up and just take notice. So it's it's brilliant. But yeah, I think I think by his interviews after the game and you know having heard his interviews in the past, he seems a level headed guy and. Uh, I think I think he seems a guy who can keep his feet in the ground anyway. We'll soon see you boys, won't we? <laughs> we will soon see. If England is sensible, they'll try and put some high balls upon him because um, it'd be the one time that they might get it right because we will see. Because that, that is an area which which obviously he's going to have to uh, he's going to have to front up in. But right, as you rightly say, what a prodigious talent. 